Today I'd like you to introduce, <laughs> introduce you to my wonderful uh, greyhound friend. Um, he was adopted and got a little dog slobber on my chin. It's the best kind of slobber. He's coming back for more. Um, and he's an, he's adopted off the tracks and he's amazing. And um, yeah. So anytime we can adopt our little canine friends, I'm always in favor of that, right? And he's had a journey just like each of us have had because he didn't come from an ideal situation. Um, he was an ex-racer in Mexico. And um, so when I got him in, when we got him over and he came over and he got off the flight, you know, we met him there and... Uh, he had some anxiety, let's just say, like a lot of us. So my approach with him has been to let him be himself, to not ask anything of him, to not push him too much. He's in a new environment. He has a new schedule. He has a new life. He All he knew in the past was kennel track, kennel track, kennel track. And now he's getting used to a new life. Um, so with the trauma that he's had, the best thing I've done, I've tried to do is just give him his space to feel safe and to be himself and to know that the environment will consistently provide love. And in this space, I've seen how he's started to blossom and come into his own personality. So rather than inundating him with my needs when he arrived in our home, um, I've let him just be himself and find himself and know that he's in a safe space to be okay. And he just went over on the couch uh, to lay down. And you'll see more of him in future videos, but that was a little introduction to him. And he's just, he's just great. Very, very happy to have, have him here. And um, now we're actually going to get onto the topic of the video. <laughs> so the topic of the video today is something that's near and dear to my heart. I'd like to describe uh, the difference between dissociation and quote unquote enlightenment. This is a topic that I've given a lot of consideration to. So as some of you know, I've studied, I've chosen to study with some of the world's greatest meditation masters. And I've spent much of my life diving into a deep understanding of the varied paths. What I have found along the way is relatively few teachers have taken on trauma in a very direct way, the ones that I've been exposed to. So I've been very much an observer, not only of the people that have been drawn to the transformational process, but also those of us who've experienced childhood adversity, how we process things, how we take this early adversity and use it as a compost to grow ourself in order to reclaim the great self with a capital S, right? So as I've... Um, noticed my experience on the journey and observed the experience of others on the journey, I've noticed it feels so good to be, to be out of that contracted state, to be in the subtle realms, right? And in the subtle realms, oh my goodness, oh, the heart feels open, you know, you, you, you feel the release, the momentary release from that world weariness and that is a stage, a phase on this transformative journey. And if we only stay in that phase, if we only stay in that portion of the uh, growth period, the re it's actually a return. Well, it's a return. It's a reclamation of all we are. But if we only stay in the subtle realm, that's called spiritual bypassing. We're like, hey, man, don't me bring me down. I don't want to look at the trauma. I don't want to feel the trauma. I don't want to go back to that contraction. That's so not fun. Don't take me there. And that would be an example of spiritual bypassing. And you will see many people in the transformative journey that are in that zone. You'll see them, right? They're in that zone. It's like, and, and 
Why not, right? Like, I don't want to go back to that contraction. I don't want to deal with that messiness. That's spiritual bypassing. Okay? Now, to bring it full circle, once we open to something greater, and that's an individual journey each of us take on our own, but hopefully with mentors, hopefully with guides, who've cleared a little bit of the jungle and say, it's safe to come this way, come this way. Once we take this transformative journey, then part of that journey, the reclamation of the entire self, is to go back into your, your world and take what you've learned and bring it to your world. And for those of us who experienced, uh, have experienced adversity, that may be re-feeling, re uh, doing the, the inquiry, doing an inquiry inside of what did that early trauma feel like? And what does it feel like from a bigger picture perspective now? It used to come from the little individual hurt one, but now it comes from a bigger picture perspective, a zoom out perspective, like the telephoto lens. I use that analogy sometimes where you can experience the trauma in a different way and you're not as caught in playing the victim or blaming an abuser, right? And you can bring it full circle and be in their body and bring what you've learned here in service to your world. So that was a description of the opening to the transformative path the experience of the subtle realm of feeling, oh, it's so delightful to feel released from all that contraction and all that confusion. But then we want to bring it full circle and back into our world in an empowered and an authentic way, right? And then the, um, the wisdom is ingrained in our being. Instead of holding on to the mast in the stormy seas, we become the mast. So that's the experience of spiritual bypassing brought full circle into embodiment now, where the, the, the teachings, everything we've learned, the teachings of trauma, the teachings from guides have come full circle and we reclaim all that we already were, the space of consciousness, the natural space, the uh, space of unconditional love, whatever you, your name for it is, your experience, go with that, okay? Now, let's move to dissociation. So dissociation will often feel foggy. It will feel um, discombobulated. It won't feel logical. It might feel like you're freezing. So an early trauma that was laid down has you like a deer in headlights. And the mind might get jumpy and, the, and, and you don't know which way to go. And you may not be able to think as well. The, may, the brain may not be able to think logically. This is the experience of dissociation. Now, in one of my videos, I actually encourage us to use the experience of dissociation to service in the transformative journey meaning, right, when you do have the ability to disidentify disidenti dis from the body, use that and then take it to the place of the observer. I'm the owner of my body. This amazing body, look at the life force in my hands. Look at the skin. Wow, trillions of little cells and uh, little bodies in my body that make up the one big body. So we just shifted that from dissociation, being frozen by a trauma, being discombobulated, being like a deer in the headlights, not being able to use the mind in a logical way. You know that experience? I'm saying now, from that leap off point, move to the owner of the body. You're the owner of the body. Like look at your hands right now. Be the observer of your hands. Look at the life force that is moving through your hands. 
Look at the life force that's animating me on this video. The same life force that animates you. That's an example of shifting from dissociation into the experience of quote unquote enlightenment. That's all it is. That's all it is. And I say enlightenment with little quotes around it because we will have a tendency to think it is moving up a ladder one day after another. Oh, I'm on this transformative process. It will never be good enough. And I'm going up the ladder and up the ladder and up the ladder and up the ladder. I'm saying, whoa, 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 back off that. We're going to do the direct path. Because you already are. You already are whole. You already are complete. You already have everything, everything that you need for this journey. And your early adversity can serve you if you let it. Let it serve you. Let it be the compost. Let it push you on. Let it birth you back into the great space of consciousness, the natural space that you came from before you took individual form. And it got a little bit confusing from there. The journey is to come back. If you're on the transformational journey, and if you're on this channel, you are, the journey is to come back, come back, come back, and reclaim yourself as that field of consciousness, knowing that, knowing when you, when you experience that place, even if it's for a half second in meditation or nature or singing or whatever works for you, you will never forget it. And you will entrain to that place just as earlier we may have entrained to a teacher or a mentor thinking, oh, they're such a great teacher. Oh, I just, you know, adore the teacher. Uh-uh. Any good teacher is just saying, look at this field. Look at our, all that you already are. Come to that. So the greatest guide, the greatest mentor looks for that insight and that glimpse in you and says, go there. You already have all that you need from the for the journey. And let childhood adversity, the traumas, the residues push you like you're being reborn back into that field. It's amazing. It's amazing. And this is where these traumas are healed for good. Don't ever let anyone say to you it can't be done. It can be done. It is happening, so be it. And when you can see it and experience it and feel it from this perspective and use dissociation, when you, the moment you feel dissociation, to do one more zoom out and think, oh, I'm the owner of my body. Look at all these cells. Look at all these amazing cells that create this skin, that create my brain. Oh, when you start seeing commonality with other people rather than all the differences, these are good signs. When you start feeling lighter in your being, when you say thank you to that early trauma, thank you for the compost, thank you for pushing me, pushing me through the atmospheric burn so that I could reclaim myself, the experience of the great self with a capital S, so that I could reclaim that, then, at long last, the trauma becomes the gift. I'm sending so much love your way. If you are inspired, and it's always inspired, if you are inspired to do sessions with me, there's information at the end of this video.